Okay, this is the next part of the sheathing and siding repair. Uh, and this will probably be the last episode. Now, here I have finished putting in my stainless steel screws. Uh, I have some uh, screws on the end that I have placed in, but I haven't patched. Now, it turns out that I ran out of my square drive stainless steel screws. I didn't have enough for these five boards. So, but what I did have is some galvanized decking screws. So, I'm finishing up with the galvanized decking screws. And they should be okay. Uh, the original nails here that were used were galvanized presumably they never caused any staining or anything like that um, now I should say that the screws I was using was two inches long and when you're near the corner with a trim board which is this wide you're not going to have a stud to go into the studs are 16 inches from the corner this is right smack in the middle. This is only going to go into the sheathing. You really don't need to screw more than one inch to go in there. Okay, so, but I, actually, I think I put in two inch screws here just in case I got lucky, but here's another example where on this butt joint, you're not going to have the luxury of going into a stud, although it turned out by chance that on one half of this butt joint, it was a stud location. Okay, I filled the old nail holes with um, exterior spackle and I went ahead and I actually filled the um, the screw top. Since I had countersunk these, these were actually below the surface, so I filled in uh, a, a thin coat of the spackle. I'm not sure how that's going to hold up, but I had it, so I did it. Uh, you can see there I drilled a hole in this clapboard in order to, for the electrical outlet for the lamp to come through. I, I have put in caulk now on the outside exterior of all of these joints and also at the butt joints. Okay, I'm just going to spackle these remaining sections. I'll use pause and then I'll come back. Okay, I just put spackle in on those holes, so this job here is done until this is ready for painting. Um, before painting, you need to fix all of the problems that you have with rotted siding or sheathing, and I've already fixed problems with that window, with the garage doors, and now with that lamp, that um, flood lamp. I'm going to re redirect that flood lamp over to this corner, as I was saying, I also have woodpecker damage. That's a tall, another story. Okay, I'll just um, get, come down the ladder and show you some of the things that I used on today's work. Okay, these are the stainless steel screws um, that I used. Two inches prudential. <clears throat> these are best for maximum against corrosion, but I only had a certain number of those. I had inherited this collection of houses. So after that, I went to these um, exterior screws. Here's a one and a quarter, which are suitable for butt joints <clears throat> or on the ends also. <clears throat> and here are some two inch prudential exterior deck screws. Now, these are called galvanized. On this box, it doesn't say galvanized, it just says exterior screws. On this box, it's the same company, and it's probably the same screw, but I, I can't say for sure. This one says galvanized, but when you read the instructions for the Western Red Cedar Clavards, 
they recommend only hot dip galvanized, not electroplated galvanized or mechanically galvanized, whatever that is. Uh, I went online, I tried to find out how these ones are made, and I could not tell. I found no, no information here that would explain. Um, except to say that for maximum protection against corrosion, you use stainless steel, so, but I want to see how these, how these do. I'll, of course, it'll take many years, but, but if I did have a problem with these, I could always take them out and put in something else. Uh, here is the ring shank nail, the stainless steel ring shank nail that I've used previously. And uh, I, I had run out of these. I could have used these too. Uh, I decided I just wanted to experiment with the um, screws based on the concept that I, I um, wouldn't damage, I was going to reuse the, the siding and I didn't want to damage it further. Uh, like I said before, here's the cock that I was using. The cock actually fell out of this holder, which can happen. And then I got a little crack at the top where the cock started to squeeze out. Now I just used this metal tape and packed it around. And that way I should be able to use up the rest of this tube instead of throwing the tube out. There's still plenty left in that tube. Um, anyway, that's that's the deal there. This wall, of course, uh, still needs work. I'm going to put that light up and I, I have to get around uh, when I'm done with everything else here to actually paint this. Then maybe it'll look okay. Okay, that's all. Okay.